all right ladies and gentlemen welcome to another video this one's going to be on the top three stocks for the week we have a pretty big week on wednesday we're going to have fomc which is going to be a big deal because we want to know exactly what uh, you know john powell says about the market uh, and in general what he plans to do with uh, the cuts are there going to be any rate cuts coming up uh, later this year or is he going to keep the rates paused for the entire year basically not what he's doing on wednesday but rather what he is planning on doing the guidance that he is going to give us for future rate hikes rate uh, pause or rate cuts so um things like that so it's gonna be very important it's gonna move the market for sure i am leaning towards more of a downward move in the market after he comes on and speaks at uh, 2 30 on wednesday but otherwise you know i'm not really that you know crazy about it i'm not gonna try to make any predictions all i'm gonna say is when we do get the move on wednesday it's gonna be a very volatile move and i'm gonna play it on a day trade and all of that alerts and everything is gonna go to my uh, private member discord link is in the description below uh, all you have to do is click on the link in the description sign up and you can get into the discord by claiming your access all right with that said uh, let's talk about our first uh well not really first but overall market in general we got spy spy kind of made a nice move hit a new all-time high on friday the only thing i'm looking for this week uh is again uh fomc so we'll see what happens but also kind of looking at whether the flow finally turns negative maybe it will happen on wednesday after the fomc and we can start shorting stuff but basically that's what it is market right now is at a very bullish mode and we haven't turned bearish for a while now so we have to just wait and be patient until the market actually turns bearish and uh, kind of just play along the way as the market gives us so that's basically it um so i just you know a matter of just being patient and letting the market do its, do its thing and following along with it and playing the trend that the market gives you. Um, obviously, um, the indicator here uh, that I use, this is my personal indicator. I All members have access to this indicator. Basically, the indicator just gives us total uh, price strength versus price weakness. And of course, you can see the SPY's price strength right now is very high as it is holding the green EMA cloud. It's above the blue EMA cloud, both of which are very good sign of bullish and strong price strength. And of course, the net flow is also very positive. So nothing bearish about the spy right now and therefore you can't really go shorting the market at the moment because the market is not bearish so we'll see what happens so the first stock on the list for our top three stocks it's pretty straightforward um they're not really anything huge or anything complicated the first one i would say is uh for me amd this one's the one that i'm watching primarily because uh, there are a couple of things that's happening here that really uh is, is very s intriguing first of all um the first thing is obviously we have a, a nice little downward trend right here that we're kind of i wouldn't say flagging per se but it, it does seem like we're kind of quailing in the same zone and we're holding a nice little uptrend. We're above the green EMA cloud by Friday. We're holding above the purple EMA cloud. If the purple EMA cloud turns blue, that's going to be a very big deal. That's going to be a crossover, an EMA crossover. It's going to be a 34 to 50 EMA crossover, and it's going to be a bullish crossover. So that's something to you know kind of watch out for. I will say be careful because NVIDIA is going to open up on Monday, split adjusted. So um, that might create create some kind of reaction in the overall market uh, and in general these semiconductors but personally you know i have two areas that i want to play amd um, the first area that i want to play amd is this one uh, i want to go long on amd above i would say right around this 170 mark if it breaks 170 and we have this downtrend reversal setup um it's most likely gonna happen i would say like it could happen monday it could happen tuesday but most likely tuesday or wednesday is when we see some kind of a bullish move on the stock if not obviously we're going to play it on the bearish side but for the first sign of bullish move 
I want the break of 170 and to go up to like 175. That would be pretty cool. Um, we do have a fair value gap all the way up to 177. So, you know, 170 breaks go to 173 to 175 and then 177. So, you know, three to five points, three to seven points. Basically, that's the long setup on AMD. As far as the short setup goes, the only way I will actually short it if AMD this coming week kind of falls under this 158.50 because you have multiple support on the stock right around this 158.50 we have a uh, the first support right here on this candle and then the second support right here on this candle and those are all around this 158.50 area so i would say that is a good area to short you can go in early under i would say 160 if it does break under 160 you can go in early but it's not really worth going in early because you're not going to have a lot of potential to the downside you're going to have a two point move and then you have to sell it um, because this is going to be a big support if this support does break that means that we're going to break a big level of support here and we're going to be under the uptrend line which is a bearish sign and it's going to be below the purple ema line and it's going to be a purple ema cloud and then it's going to be below the green ema cloud as well so bearish sign there so yeah um 158.50 short for one to two points maybe go down to like 155 and the long is 170 break to go to 173 to 175 and then ultimately 177 pretty straightforward last but not least just want to mention the flow is very positive and it it's kind of going up every single day so just make sure you keep an eye on this for a potential curl and run i will also say that this stock is fairly cheap compared to all of the other semiconductors that have been running so i don't think it's done running up so just keep an eye on it all right number two stock smci another semiconductor have to be on the list because again it is a stock that i've really liked trading except for friday last friday was a really tough day for me at least uh, i had uh, i had a red day on last friday but overall ended the week very green so you know happy with that uh, but smci i did trade it on friday and did not move at all it stayed stuck at the same spot and the reason i would say that is the case is because it is kind of just sitting around this upward trend area so what i am basically looking for is something similar to where i want to see if this stock can just you know tumble um i think we're very close to either getting a nice little downtrend reversal or a nice break of this downtrend line and run i will say you see this blue ema cl cloud it is kind of hinting at a purple right there so it we're kind of borderline getting a blue to purple ema crossover which is a bearish crossover and if it happens with the daily it's usually fairly bearish um and not to mention we are all we already had the uh, green to red ema crossover and you are we're under the red ema cloud right now so the price strength is not there it's pretty weak um if you look at the flow the flow is very negative and friday it had a lot more negative flow the only thing i would say i don't like it as a long but if it does downtrend reverse and get above i would say like 810 uh you can maybe push it to 830 to 850 but in my opinion i like it more as a short and the best spot to short it in my opinion is going to be roughly around this 750 if it breaks 750 I think you can take it down under the trend line here, the uptrend that we have, and bring it all the way down to, you know, 700. That would be the next area of support, which is what I'm waiting for this week. I'll be watching this, uh, you know, SMCI very, very closely to see if we can get it down to 700, 710 area. It's just going to be a really good 50 point short. Flow is pretty negative. I don't know if it's going to actually do it or not, but I will be watching very closely. So that's basically what you want to do. You want to short under 750 and bring it down 30 to 50 points on the downside. Okay. The final stock on the list, and this one is not anything crazy but it does have a really really good chart setup and that would be tesla now i don't usually bring tesla into the light because the stock has not really been as good as it used to be but i can't ignore this chart setup unfortunately because it's just too good of a chart setup um it's just way too clean and you know if i ignore it i am 
uh, I am a moron. It, this is basically the best way I can say it, is I'm a moron if I ignore it. It's a nice bull flag. Just a beautiful daily bull flag, uh, daily uh, setup right here where basically inside the triangle and getting very very close to the corner of the triangle it can go both ways i don't know which way it's gonna go it can go both ways it can go up or it can go down okay it can go up or it can go down i don't know which way it's gonna go but essentially you're looking for any of this downtrend either the downtrend line break for a push or the uptrend line break for a drop now i will say it does have a lot of room to go up but it also has a lot of room to go down because you have gap to fill so if you look at it here you got a pretty decent gap to fill from 158 all the way down to like 147 area ish area so you got a pretty decent gap fill right here on the downside but i don't think it will happen that quickly the first area of break that you need to short it is i would say short under roughly 170 172 short under 172 you'll be breaking the uptrend and then you can take it down all the way to 16750 ish once you break 16750 i would say you have room to drop down to 160 to 158 it won't happen that big i would say 172 break drop it down to 170 to 167 basically that's that's all you're looking for three to five points two to five points on the downside on the long side let's say we do break out and start running the first area where you want to long it is honestly going to be this uh i would say like 183 break of 183 should be a long into 185 to 187 that's where you got a lot of resistance around that 187 187 area 187 50 a lot of resistance there so 180 could be a good break if you want to get in early 180 i a bit, a bit risky to go in on that but not, not a bad entry um 180 to 183 183 to uh 185 to 187 and then 187 all the way up to 190 190 all the way up to uh one uh well 200 as uh, 199 but basically 200 which is right here when it had the big gap up um so that's basically it i will say the flow on uh tesla is pretty negative so you need positive flow if you want to go up super hard so could be that we see more downside on it and it actually breaks the flag and it drops but essentially this is what i am looking for from tesla i like the chart setup it looks really good and i am all for it so i'll be watching it very closely and you can see it on the weekly chart as well it's a little bit more cleaner on the weekly chart but essentially i think it's very very close to making some big moves so watch out for it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys on the next one have a wonderful rest of your day and peace